Snowdrop Episode 1 Summary Jisoo as Eun Young Ro perfectly melted into the character of a freshman in college. Jisoo made her first appearance as an innocent and cheerful college student by taking on the role of Eun Young Ro, a freshman in the English department at Lake Women's University in the JTBC Saturday drama, Snowdrop, which was first aired on the 18th. From the appearance of sprinting to answer a call from the dormitory to the appearance of holding a spoon microphone and singing along to the song playing on the radio, Jisoo's character, Jisoo Pyo Youngro, a lively college student herself, made viewers smile. In particular, Jisoo drew the sympathy of those who had fallen in love by delicately depicting the emotions of first love that came unexpectedly at the age of 20. Eun Young Ro, who first met Lim Soo Ho, Young Hae In, at Bangting, accidentally bumped into Soo Ho while trying to prevent the matchstick tower from collapsing. Young Ro, who shyly avoided Soo Ho's gaze when she touched him, later reunited with him at a record store. The figure of young R.O., who was busy running away with her face red again, was cute without mercy. Jisoo's trembling expression, tone, and awkward behavior made her more immersed in the heart of young R.O., who was conscious of the person she liked and did not know what to do. Young Ro pretended to be Soho's girlfriend to protect him from Bake Golden, and she couldn't calm her fluttering heart as she recalled the moment she hugged him. The line, did you say something about love at first sight, delivered by Jisoo in a voice that seemed to remind her of that, implying that her feelings for Soho had changed from liking to love. Six months later, Soho falls unconscious in front of young R.O., who entered the dormitory room, and has an unpredictable bloody ending, and interest in the next story is growing. Snowdrop, which will show a romance between political conspiracy and espionage in the background of the 1987 presidential election is broadcast every Saturday and Sunday at 10.30 p.m. on JTBC.